This video is to demonstrate how to set up and configure the RICOM Snap Track receiver. This receiver has two version types. To see those, I start with the unit in the off position and depress the power button continually until at the, on the top of the display, SEL is displayed. Version 512 is going to be a simplified version where it's going to be 512 hertz sond mode only and 82 kilohertz line mode with pinpoint peak and arrows. Very simple. Version dash three is going to be my customizable and programmable version where I can go in and select multiple sound frequencies, multiple line frequencies, multiple modes, etc. And it has a program function or feature associated with it. So if I go back to version 512, short press my power button. As you can see, I have 512 hertz sound mode. If I short press my frequency mode button, 82 kilohertz, refined peak with arrows, and back and forth, and that's all I can do with that version. If I go to my version three, select it, short press the power button. Now I have, I can short, I have 82 kilohertz in pinpoint peak with arrows, and if I short press, I can scroll through my available line frequencies, and if I want to add or delete those or add modes or songs, I can enter a program menu. So with the unit on, one, two, three press of my power button, I get into the program menu. Main menu items are displayed on the bottom of the display. First comes up is volume. To scroll through the main menu items, I short press my frequency mode button. Backlight, for in dark conditions or at night, I can light up the display. Units is either metric or standard for depth measurement. Orient is the line in the center of the display that guides the user to the direction of the line. Current, I can turn on or off I, and it will be displayed on the bottom right of the display as I'm locating. Vibrate is a vibrate motor that uh, if you're hearing impaired or in a high noise area, it'll actually vibrate on the left side of the line. It'll stop vibrating when you're directly over the top of the line and then it'll vibrate again on the right side. So it vibrates in a null manner. P-Link is a remote connection between the receiver and the transmitter where you can adjust and change the frequencies on the transmitter via the receiver up to a thousand feet away line of sight. You have to order the snap track with this feature, not all of them come with it. Battery is a different battery type. If I change the battery type in my snap track receiver, I have to tell the receiver. So this can have lithium ion or alkaline batteries. If I change between one or the other, I have to let the receiver know so the voltage is correct. Op mode. Here is where I add different modes of operation, such as peak, null, refined peak, sond, etc. So to enter any main menu item, I press the gain up button that enters me into the menu. And I can see here I have wide peak with arrows is off. If I want to turn that on, I do a long press of my frequency mode button. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000 release, that toggles it on. Short press cycles through, pinpoint peak with arrows is on. Null is off. If I want to turn that on again, long press of the frequency mode button, one, two, release, turns it on. Left, right, auto mode I have off, and I have my sound capability on. So to back out to the main menu again, gain down button, backs me out to the main menu. Short press to my sound. This is where I add or remove different sound frequencies. So to enter the main menu, sound, gain up, I can see I have 512 hertz sound is on, 640 sound is off, 815 sound off, 8K sound off, and 33K sound. If I want to turn one on again, long press frequency mode button, one, two, release, and that turns it on. Back out to the main menu, short press. Now these are my different line frequencies. I can add or remove different line frequencies and back to volume. To enter the volume again, 
to enter the menu, gain up. I have different levels of volume, short press the frequency mode button. I can mute it, level one, level two, level three, and mute. Then when I'm done programming, I can back out with my gain down, short press my power button. Now I'm in the version three regular locate mode. And to scroll through my available line frequency, short press the frequency mode button. You can see the line frequencies here. If I wanna switch modes to either sond or to a different operational mode, I long press one, two, release, switched it to null with arrows. One, two, release, switched it to 512 hertz sond. One, two, release. Now I'm back to line, eight kilohertz, peak with arrows. So if I want to just switch frequencies, short press. Simple. When I'm done, turn the unit off. If you have any further questions, please call RICOM Instruments at 816-353-2100 or consult your user's manual. Thank you for choosing RICOM Instruments.